Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up to mix quickly in Reaper. So I have a client who sent me some files to mix. Let's take a look at my hard drive. And here are the files I was sent. Now we could set up a project template to work off of on the file, a project template. As we can see, I have a bunch. We really don't need to use one of those. Instead, we could do it from scratch fairly quickly. Although I did save some track templates. If I right click over here, insert track from template, and I saved one right here for mixing effects, which are basically effects returns that I tend to use in every mix. I have a vocal verb, which is a reverb I use for vocals, another reverb I use for drums called drum verb, an echo or a slapback delay, an eighth note delay, and a quarter note delay. These are effects I use in just about every mix. So I prefer to have these in my project before I start. But I'm not going to bring these in just yet. Let's delete these. I first want to create a default effects chain. Because right now, if I drag in my audio items, let's start with the kick. By default, there's no effects on this track. But we could choose to put some there that'll be there by default. Let's create a new track, go to the effects, and let's add some effects that will be on each track by default. I like to start with a gate. I could set this up how I prefer, although by default, this is pretty good. Then I'm going to add an EQ. Right over here, re EQ. And for this, I only need two bands. So I'm going to delete this one and this one. I'm going to make this one a low shelf, so I can boost the low end or cut it. I'm going to readjust the bandwidth how I prefer, put it back to zero, and put it somewhere down here. Then for this band, I'm going to change it to a high pass filter. So I can roll off the low end, readjust the bandwidth to about here. Let's start it down here, but turn it off to start. And this is an EQ I like to start off with after the gate. Then I'm going to add a compressor. I'll use Recomp, set my attack how I prefer to start. I like to turn on auto makeup gain, bring this down a bit, change my ratio to 4 to 1. And that's how I like to start with my compressor. And then after the compressor, I like to add another EQ right here. But this time, I don't need the low end as I like to adjust the low end before the compressor and the high end after. So I could use this for the mid frequencies and use this as a high shelf filter. Adjust the bandwidth I prefer, put this back to zero. This is how I want to start with this EQ. Again, this is just my personal preference. You would set this up how you prefer to start. So now we could save all this as the default on our new tracks. Just right click over here, go to effects chains, and choose save all effects as default chain for new tracks. So now, delete this track. If we create a new track, it automatically starts with these effects and their settings exactly as we set this up. So it's a great starting point for each track. And it'll work the same way when we import our files. Drag in the kick, and it starts off with the effects chain we saved. But before we drag in the files, I want to change the tempo to the song tempo. As we can see on these files, the tempo is 112 beats per minute. So I'm going to change it down here first. Now let's import our files. Select them all, drag them in right to here, and Reaper puts each file on a separate track. 
Now we can see the names of our tracks over here, which aren't very helpful because they're based on the names of our files. But in a previous video, I showed you how we could auto rename them very quickly using a script. So check out that video to see that trick. Let's select all these tracks, go to actions, show action lists, and type in track names. And we can see that script right here. Just double click it, which opens up this dialog. Let's remove the name of the song and delete it from here. Let's truncate from the start six more characters. And let's do that, which removes some of it. But starting on track 10, we need to remove one more character right at the beginning. Now let's select all the tracks again, open it back up, run it. And this time we're going to remove the tempo as we don't need that on the track. And also truncate from the end, four more characters. So now our track names are perfect, just based on what's on that track. So now I'd like to open up the mixer and bring all our tracks down a bunch. Select them all. Instead of starting at zero, I like to start them about negative 10 dB, just to give us some more headroom. And again, you could do what works for you. And notice up here on our tracks, they all have the effects chain we saved. So now I want to import my effects returns. Go right here, right click, insert tracks from template, and I'm going to choose those mixing effects. Let's put them on the top. You can move them later to the bottom if you prefer. So now you want to create sends from all these tracks to our effects. So we could use them very quickly. And we could do this by going to the view menu and opening up the routing matrix. And we can see over here, this represents our effects returns, and down over here are our tracks. And we can create sends from one track to another over here. So if I want to send the kick to the vocal reverb, I could do it right here. Just click it, click it again to see that send, and notice it starts at zero, which is a bit too loud to start. So I prefer to bring it down, and I also prefer to make my send mono right here. And it's also sending MIDI, which we don't need. So let's turn that off. And this is how I prefer my sends to start. So we could duplicate that send just by dragging from here right across. And now my kick is sending to all the effects returns, exactly the same, starting with nothing, a mono send, and no MIDI, just audio. So we could do this for all the tracks. Just start with one of them and drag it all the way down to here. And notice, even if I'm sloppy, I could still fix it later. Drag across, up, and just fill it in until every box is filled. So now, all our tracks are sending to all the effects returns. And we can see that if we go to the mixer. Right here, we can see all the sends, and every track is sending to all the effects returns. And again, they all start off not sending any signal as a mono send and just audio, not MIDI. So now we can just move this to the bottom if we prefer. And those sends still exist in here. So now we're ready to start mixing our song. As you can see, it only takes a few minutes and everything is set up to begin with. We have our levels a bit lower. We have our sends going to our effects returns and our effects on each track in the typical way we prefer to work. So that's pretty much it. That's how to set up to mix quickly in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you could use it and I'll see you next time. Thanks.
Oh!